The Buffalo Bandits are up six in game two of the finals, and Josh Burns about to put them up seven. Cuts inside, goes up, goes under. He went inside, he went outside, he throws paper right there, and then he goes up. Goalie reaches his hand up. He says, psych, I'll just go under. Love the ref. Just kind of chilling in sneakers and a helmet. Goal! It's the finals. You missed that. You never planned on watching it. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching, and it is brought to you by Bird Dogs. Boom, ba da boom, boom. Bum, bum. Tune into some college baseball. We got Georgia and Missouri. One runner on in a one run game. Here's out number one to center field. Never mind. Off his glove, off his shoulder. The tying run was on first base. He's running all the way around and he's going to score. Center fielder probably wishes he simply caught that clapping, but don't want him to wake the baby, but clapping, but clapping. And he's excited. Boom, boom. His name is Hank. And now he represents the go-ahead run. And this kid's name is Dylan. He takes that two-strike curveball and says, this game is over. Wow. Barn burner between these two teams. Missouri went on to walk off the next day as well. So they're just having their way with Georgia. And it's going to be a big old celebration. They're running around. Guys double water bottle bottle in. It's good times. Way to go. Let's head across the pond for the United Rugby Championship. Munster is in red. Leinster's in blue. Leinster's won 14 of the last 16 matches. We're at the end here, and they're up by two against Munster, who's got the ball, and they're just moving it. Now they can't find the ball. Where is it? I can't see it. Guy in blue gets frustrated. He says, bam, can you see it now? Just move the pile for you. And they're like, oh, yes. Yes, that worked great. We got it. And they move it up just a little bit, which sets them up for the drop kick. Jack Crowley says, guys, just pass me the ball. Let's beat these guys. Stun them. Drop kick. Boom. In. At the end of the match, he says, yes, 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 yes. Ah! Ah! And that does it. 80th minute. They've won. This got suggested to me by Rory who said that these guys were so certain they were going to win at the bottom of this. He says Leinster were so confident they didn't didn't even put out their full team. Bad strategy. Let's go back to America where we got Florida State and Duke tied up at one in the bottom of the seventh inning in the ACC championship. Can't make that throw because Devin Flaherty is fast, and now she's on first base. There's two outs. One more out. You push it to extras. You get to hit again, but Devin Flaherty stole the most bags in ACC this year. Is she going to steal? Doesn't matter. This ball bloops in in front of the left fielder and she goes first to home that was a crazy send from the third base coach in my brain but i don't have a softball brain oh what's going on with the catcher Uh uh-oh is she okay she's hobbling did she get hurt oh no she wants to celebrate but she's scared to celebrate she doesn't want to what is all this oh man let's go back let's backtrack a little bit and see if we can diagnose this did she twist her ankle what's going on um when she jumped oh her shoe just fell off it just came right out she's all good she even tweeted i'm perfectly fine my shoe was just missing stop worrying about it guys i need to see the replay first to home on a ball in front of the outfielder is just crazy but obviously the bases are smaller in softball and your third base coach knows he's got speed so he just says use it and they win what an ending that's awesome Congrats on being so fast. Let's go back to Ireland, watch some Gaelic football. This is the province of Ulster, the championship, the Ulster title, all the counties in the province competing to see who's got the best group of lads when it comes to Gaelic football. And the championship came down to PKs. Wouldn't you know it? So basically just soccer in your brain, but he saves that one. The Dairy Keeper, Oran Lynch, Oran Lynch, Oran Lynch, Oran. I don't know how you say it, but he's excited. He's young. He's handsome. He's wearing brown. Both teams are wearing the same color. People were upset by that. The next one, that's put in, so Derry takes the lead, but oh no, at what cost? He's hurt. And then a goal, all right. Tied up, one apiece, but obviously Derry has not missed yet, and now they have. So now, one save apiece, one goal apiece, Oh, my God. Another save by Lynch. 
They try to go up and to his right. He says, come on, do it again. Do it again. I dare you to kick it there again. And this guy's like, I got to make another save. I'm not going to do that. They go way up top. It's a nice shot. It's a ballsy shot. And that guy looks Irish. Of course he does. And here he is. Lynch says, I dare you to go up there again. You fool. You're dumb. Come on. Saves three. Now, if this guy puts the next one in, Derry wins the championship, and that's just what he does. He also went uh, up, like way up top, like bar down. The Derry kicker's kind of, kind of lunatics. That's scary stuff, but they win. Best team in the whole county. Them, not you, not another team. Them, they're the best. And that's their second time winning in a row, I believe, on the back of three great saves by Lynch. To his left, got it. To his right, got it. To his right, got it. That's exciting. Last one, the XFL. Been talking a lot about this as the season has been going on things you missed, and this is the championship. And Arlington beat D.C. D.C. went 10-1 and in the regular season, but Arlington made a pretty crucial trade down the stretch for quarterback Luis Perez. He only played in three games, one regular season game, semifinal championship, helps them win the whole thing. And his story is crazy. He didn't play football at the varsity level in high school, he walked on to a community college and was the ninth string quarterback, which I think translates to fan that hangs around. They're like, do you want to play another position? He's like, nah, ninth string it is for me. He earns a starting job, uh, and then he goes to AM Commerce, D2, wins the national title. He's player of the year. He dabbles around in the NFL a little bit, and now he won the championship the XFL. He actually says that uh, he learned how to play quarterback by watching YouTube. So just an incredible story and uh, always make the good trade for the good guy. And that's how you're going to win. And that was the final segment for this video, which only leaves us with one important thing to cover. Bird Dogs, they sponsored the episode. I told you about them earlier. They make really comfortable clothing, especially for summertime. You look good. You feel good. You're like, man, why do I look and feel so good? Must be the bird dogs. That's what I said when I put them on. So if you want to go get a pair, look good, feel good, and be comfortable, head to birddogs.com slash mist and enter promo code mist to get a free Yeti style tumbler with every single order. All right. Fan of the week. Last year, last year, maybe you guys didn't vote, but last week you guys voted phenomenally. I was proud of you. Who do you got this time? You got Cowboy Hand Glasses. You got Guy Behind Coach. You got Slow and Sassy. You got Bouncy Bouncy. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. I appreciate you. Thank you. Goodbye.